the Scott that we saw last year in the two seasons prior. So let's see what Maryland can do. The road has not been kind to this Terrapins team this year. Just their offense has been so inconsistent this year. Haven't been able to press nearly as much. But what a cut by Damask and the find for the finish. And a 2-2 ball game. And that's going to be a big key for Illinois today is can you keep this Maryland offense off the foul line? And by offense, I really mean Jameer Young and Julian Reese because these guys live there. What a rebound by Jordan Geronimo. Instead of going towards the basket, that's Jameer Young doing his job. Smith misses the three. Goody on the run, looking for his third, and he's got it. Three triples in the first five minutes. Starting the break, opportunistic, and Goody cashing out. Tenth in the Big Ten this year at about two made threes per game. That number's going to go up, and Geronimo not going to miss a second. And winning a championship. <laughs> and they root for him to do that every, every year for the last in. four years. That guy. Oh, here he is. With the two-hand flush and a 15-7 lead for Illinois. Where Julian Reese's lack of right hand hurts him there. And Hawkins, this is what he can do oh, all the way wow. to the rim for two and a chance for one more at the line. What a sequence right there for Coleman Hawkins. Well, well you see Dante Scott, he's caught ball watching here. And Quincy Garrier is just flying by him, hanging on a rim. Job done against a bigger player in Julian Reese. He's got that right hand, instead goes to the left. And now it's off to the races. That's 6'10 going between his legs. Kevin Willard coaching defense aggressively on that sideline. Wants his team to defend, but that's a tough one. Ty Rogers just putting everybody on spin. And then how about Ty Rogers starting to get his game on? You know he can do this, a little spin cycle. So shrunk for these Maryland guards. The offensive rebound off the Kaiser miss. Scott will try from three, and that's the first made three of the afternoon for Maryland. That's what Dante Scott has done the last six games. Coming into today, 15 of his last 31. Looking like the Dante Scott of old, shooting it with confidence, and that's a bucket that Maryland had to have. Lamb's trying to take Kaiser off the wow. dribble. That is outstanding body control by Marcus Demand. He has lost some of his efficiency because of it, but man, he has put up great numbers, and him getting to his left hand is a good thing for Maryland basketball. How about his game at UCLA when he put 37 yeah. up against the Bruins? He I know they struggled. Reese dislodging. Oh. Oh. Count the bucket, and he's going to the line for one more and get to his strong hand. Look at the physicality. I mean, he's just taken Coleman Hawkins right there with him, and this is what Illinois is willing to give up. Inbound to Reese, spins on oh, Hawkins and got to the rim. I, I love the play there by Kevin Willard. Three or four different times were able to take advantage, and that's not an easy pass with the angle. Remember, Illinois a team that defends the two extremely well. Reese's two won't go there. Rodgers was. It's crazy. He only had two double doubles at Oregon in two years. Yeah, now you're seeing him doing it. Oh, but what a cut by Dante Scott. That is outstanding. Scott with the hammer to bring Maryland within four. Maryland getting some good looks in their half court offense. They still have not made perimeter jump shots. It's cold on the baseline and it's intercepted. Scott takes it away. Maryland on the run. Three on two if he hurries. He doesn't need any help. Scott all the way to the rim. Take a look where this steal occurs. I mean, he goes the entire 94 feet. Luke Goody never really takes an angle to stop the basketball. He really struggled in his Illinois career up until about four or five weeks ago. Reese for the lead. Got the roll. And Maryland's on top on the road with 143 to go in the half. So far today, second chance points have not been a factor for the Illini. There's Young, the runner drops, and Maryland's even at 39. That left hand just come off that ball screen, Illinois in that drop coverage, and Jameer Young is getting to that little teardrop in the lane. On the drive, Gary A. Oh, everything but the bucket as Reese plucks it off the rim. Bucket inside. That's exactly where they're going every time down the floor. And here we go again. Back to the block. Reese over Hawkins. Better defense from yeah, Hawkins. Good, good contest there. Hawkins gave some real resistance. Looking to push. Damask on the run. Got in the air and nowhere to go with it. Now Maryland with numbers if they hurry. Young drops it off. The drive to the rim and the finish for Deshaun Harris Smith. Well done by Jameer Young. <laughs> on my website later for more great analytics work. If you're tall, you shouldn't bring it up the floor against the but smaller guy. But if you're tall, you should do, do that. that. Yeah. Julian Reese just running the floor. He's calling for it early. They, 
find him immediately, but patience pays off. The dime is there, and Julian Reese goes up and hammers it. If they could win this one in Champaign. The question is, does the big three get any help? I mean, it's been Dante Scott, it's been Julian Reese and Jameer Young, but outside of those guys, it's been pretty limited for Maryland. Gary A run in the middle of the lane. Can't get it to Young to work. Splits into the paint. The runner drops. The way he got to Coleman Hawkins' body right there, but at the same time just put the brakes on him. He yep. made one earlier, but can't lose your mind on the road. Run some clock and go go to what's working. Yeah, what's working has been going inside. And that's where Reese is headed now. In the last couple of trips getting away from what's been successful. Here's Harmon driving in on Young all the way to the rim. No, the tip won't go. But Julian Reese seemed yeah. like he was in that cylinder area. Good East 3, no, got it back. Here's Harmon, he'll try. He won't That's a hit. a wide open shot. And a foul underneath. Looks like Kaiser and Hawkins getting tangled up down low. If I'm Maryland, I'm going right back to that. I would go right back to that left block and make Coleman Hawkins physically guard him, especially with three fouls. You can really put Illinois in a bind. Damask against Young. A little short, but the rebound tips out to Harmon. Another chance. Harmon's floater strong. They're just making nothing, but now all of a sudden, man, I thought that was off Maryland. I did too. It'll. Julian Reese does not care about your hunger. Back to back <laughs> missed free throws mean nuggets for people. Chicken nuggets. Rodgers gets the offensive rebound. Here's Hawkins. Good contest. Run him off the line. And he'll get two inside. Rodgers in some trouble. Damask four on the shot clock. Harris Smith all home. over. Fades away on the baseline, and that is a home rim roll. Yes, it is. He caught the back iron. Young against Goody with the left hand in the window. Who leaves their windows open in this kind of weather? Is this a point guard or a center? Blocking the shot on one end and now posting a bigger player on the other. Damask. Damask, three blocked by Geronimo. Quick shot. And Geronimo there to defend. Up ahead quickly, Geronimo with the flush. As Maryland upsets 10th ranked Illinois at home. Good at the line to stretch it to a nine point advantage. The largest lead of the day for Maryland. Damask blocked by Geronimo. And the Terrapins with a nine point lead and the ball are gonna get out of Champaign with a road win. Damask ahead to Goody with 16 seconds to go. Goody will lay it up, and with 15 seconds left, 76-67. Now the inbound comes. Now it is over. 76-67, the final. A stunner in Champagne.